and take me to my next level of blessings. Would you kindly rise to your feet, fixing your gaze on the screens, declaring these words from your mouth to the ears of God, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for a new season. Lord, shift my level, blow away my mountains, and take me to my next level of blessings. Akapa shata prala bagataya. Esote po shtapranima shtagataka. Ajatebo selegetayapa. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this new season of change of story. Arakapa shatapaya. Aro paliba shtapra Get a paluma shatapa. Somebody lift your voice in prayer to God. Aka shatapala barada. Esote peleve shata. Lord, shift my level, blow away my mountains, O oh God, and take me to my next level of blessings. Ashata palabagata. Somebody lift your voice in prayer to God. Araka shata postapa. Rebo shata ligatapa. Emma shota livakata palabaya. Irepo shata payaba. Is somebody praying to God tonight? Ashata postapaya. Ereke shata prima katapa. Esote prebelege tayada. Lord, shift my level, O God. Aro paliva shata paya. Blow away every mountain in my life. Paraba shata. Eko shata palibata. And O God, take me to my next level of blessings in this change of story season. Ashote pelegataya. Somebody you want to lift your voice in prayer to God. Parapalakata. Ashata tapalabastapa. Eroka shata palibata. Aro palabashata palagada. Blow away my mountains, O God, and take me to my next level of blessings. Ashata palagata. Rapa shanta palavatayada. Eropo shata katapastapa. Izote lebe shata kataya. A rapa la bashata paya, a son de pelegata, a shata prabalagade. For your word says, the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day, O God. In this change of story season, shift my level, O God. A rapa la gataya, a shot de premelegata, blow away my mountains and take me, O God, to my next level. Of blessings, a tapa shon de legaya, rapa shon de prebeligata. Somebody don't be tired, lift your voice in prayer. A so de ketapayada, rapa shata palabata, a so de pelebekatayada, a shempra malagataya, a shot de fezebegata, reca shota payaba, and panama shatapa, a reca shata pastapa. Now somebody begin to wave your hands. In thanksgiving to Jesus for answer to prayers. In the name of Jesus, shall we welcome the praise team. Hallelujah, supernatural growth. Amen. We want to bless the name of the Lord and you want to lift up your hands in praise and give him all the thanks that the is due his name. Come on, open your mouth and bless his name. You don't want to hold up your praise. Let him hear your voice. Give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And I Hallelujah, we will sing hallelujah, oh hallelujah, we will sing, yeah, hallelujah.
of supernatural growth. No limitation. Church, with joy and excitement in your heart, we want to celebrate Jesus, who is the owner and builder of our beautiful church. Even as we thank God for the life of our father and our mother, we will rise in a short while to take our prayer for change of story. The Bible says in Acts chapter 5 verse 42, And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. When we rise, we will pray in this manner, Father, in this chain of story season, multiply the number of cell groups in this church so we can preserve every soul that enters this congregation. Church, kindly rise to your feet, look onto the screen, and begin to pray with me. Say, Father, in this change of story season, multiply the number of cell groups in this church so we can preserve every soul that enters this congregation. This is your prayer this evening. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Father, in this change of story season, multiply the number of cell groups in this church so we can preserve every soul that enters this congregation. Brazata Paladaba, Rakazam Paladabaya, Mashata Palada, Kaprazata Pala, Repasha Talababa, Kapazan Talabayada, Rapasha Talaba, Kazan Talababa. Church, lift your voice of intercession and begin to intercede. Pray, Father, in this change of story season, multiply the number of cell groups in this church. Basata Paya, Rakazan Talababa, Shata Paladaba. So we can preserve every soul that enters this congregation. Repa Shata Payada, Maka Zam Paladaba, Reto Zam Palida, Rashata Palada, Rapan Talaba, Kapra Zam Palatayo, Repe Jan Talaba, Kasata Papaya, Repe Zan Talaba. Be intentional and lift your voice in prayers. Prati Kapayo, Repe Shata Labade, Kasatu Balataya, Repe Zon Zia. Talibe, Makaza Balataya, Repe Shatalaba, Kaprazan Talababayo, Mashata Payode, Repa Zatapaya, Kanda Brakazabaya, Repe Zazia Talaba, Rapa Shatalaba, Father, in this change of story season, multiply the number of cell groups. In this church, Repa Satapaya, Braka Zampaladaba, Rasha Takapayade, so we can preserve every soul that enters this congregation. Repa Zatapalade, Masha Tapalada, Kapra Zampaladaba, lift it up, church, lift it up, lift your voice in prayer. Rapa Zikapalade, Masha Tapayade, Rapa Patalaba, Kampa Zipranda Labayo, Repa Zakatalaba, Prasha Takapaya. Ranta Kapalade, Masa Tapaya, Repasha Tapalade, Kampra Zavalata, Rapa Zavalatayade, Maka Zampali, Matura Badia Tayo, Reka Zapapa, Rasha Tapalade, Kapa Pali and Talaba, Razato Zaprakata, Rapa Shaladaba, Raka Zapaya, Masha Tapalada, Makanda Braka Zavayade, Masa Tapa, Raka Zapalatayo, Radia Fatala, Mashati Kapalida, Mata Braka Zavalada, and because the Lord has answered our prayers this evening, you want to lift your voice and give him a sharp offering as you take your seat. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Church, this is a year of supernatural growth. Indeed, there is no limitation. Kindly help me give all the glory, honor, and adoration to Jesus, the owner and the builder of our church. Also, help me give special acknowledgement to our daddy and our mommy for such a privilege. Shortly, we shall rise to pray. Taking our scripture, we are taking our scripture from Job chapter 42, verse 10 to 12, which says that, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then came, then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been, with, had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. 
Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one, and every one, an earring of gold. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than he, he, his beginning, for he had fourteen thousand sheep and six thousand camels and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she as it so shall be your story in Jesus name when we write this shall be the line of our prayer saying father in this change of story season empower me to win more souls as I help to change people's story by sharing Jesus with them give me my own change of story Church, can we be on our feet? Begin to rehearse this in the ears of God. Saying, Father, in this change of story season, empower me to win more souls as I help to change people's story by sharing Jesus with them. Give me my own change of story. Masaka tayaraba ande, ipaka tayaraba atayaraba de, yeka tayaraba ande, yeka tayaraba atayaraba ande. And the Bible says, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Lord, as I pray for souls, please change my story in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in this end of story, according to Job chapter 2, chapter 42, verse 10, Father, empower me to win more souls, and as I change people's story by sharing Jesus with them, give me my own change of story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Masaka Tayadaba Andi, lift up prayer this very hour, saying, Father, in this change of story season, empower me to win more souls. As I help to change people's story by sharing Jesus with them, give me my own change of story in the name of Jesus Christ. Masaka taya daba ataya, libre anta daba ande ata, ikaya anda daba ande ya, yeka taya daba ande ya kataya, yeka taya daba ande ya, yeka taya daba ande ya, yende libre anta daba ande ya, yeka taya daba ande ya. For the Bible says the Lord bless the latter end of Job more than his beginning. As I pray, Father, change my own story. Change my own story as I pray for souls, as I win souls, as I win souls. Change my own story in the name of Jesus. Makataya daba ande, ikayanda daba akayanda daba brea. Pa ande, ikayataya daba ande, yakataya daba ande, yekataya daba ande. Begin to wave your hands in appreciation to God for answered prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kindly take your seat. Supernatural Good Church. Help me appreciate Jesus, who is the owner and the builder of our church. Let's appreciate the life of our Father, the Bishop, that he thanks so much for this great privilege. We continue with our prayer for change of story, reading our scripture from Luke chapter 15, verse 17 through to 20. And when he came to himself, he said, How many high servants of my fathers have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. When you rise, we pray, saying, Father, in this change of story season, bring every backslider back to church and give them a change of story testimony so they can dwell in this church. Can you rise to your feet, look on the screen and begin to pray. Father, in this change of story season, bring every backslider back to church and give them a change of story in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give them a change of story testimony so that they can dwell in this church in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Raika paanda, rasha tabaliata, raika paanda haya, le sheke baraza da anta, rapa anda haya, li akapa anda, layanda bahayada, rasha da bahayata, rapa anda bayadaba. Father, in this change of story season, bring every back. 
slide back to church uh, and give them a change of story testimony. Ayakabarasa tanda, liakabarasa dianta, ayakabayanda ha, rapa adazada bahayada, ra ikabarasa dabayanda, reke para baba, rasa tayanda bahaya, rapa yanda baraba. Every believer who has been offended uh, and as a result stop church, oh God, uh, in this season of change of story, bring them back in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ra ika payanda haya, ra satayada baha, re ke paraza da hanta, ra yanda bahaya da baha, ra kapayada baha, let the backsliders come back home in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ra ika payanda, ra ika pada, ra zada bahaya da, ayaka paraza da, ra pa anda haya, le ke paraza da daya, imaranda bahaya anda, ra paraza diata. Rika paraza dada ayata rapahanda lia kapanda haya liza dabahaya taya raparasa kaya limarani ataya rapahaya rika paraza dabahaya da ayanta bara bahaya da rapayanda bahaya da ayanda bahaya rayanda bahaya da rika paya dada ayanta bala baha raza diata lia da rayanda bahaya da rika paraza diata Libarapa and the higher Lika Payandaba Razadiataya Reka Parazadada Ayantabayadaha Raka Payadada Ayadaba Hayada Razadaya Reantayadabaha Reka Parazadada Ayadaba Rapa Paya Imarana Handa Liaka Paraza Ayadaba Rapa Paya Ika Payadaba Razadada If you believe the Lord is bringing all backsliders back home. Uh, begin to wave your right hand uh, in the form of appreciation uh, and give the Lord a mighty shout of praise in the name of the Lord Jesus. Kindly take your seat. Let's honor Jesus one more time. And we also appreciate the first family. We are still praying. Daddy, thanks very much for the privilege. We are praying from First John chapter 5, verse 4. For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. This is going to be our line of prayer. Father, in this change of story season, disgrace every impossibility in my life and crown me victorious in all my battles as I put my faith on the line. You want to rise on your feet, watch your screens, and let's affirm this prayer. Father, in this change of story season, disgrace every impossibility in my life and crown me victorious in all my battles as I put my faith on the line. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to cry out in the name of Jesus. You can pray in your understanding and you can also pray in the spirit. Open your mouth and begin to affirm. Ika para basato rabiatosa rapanda bara basanda baba. Father, in this change of story season, disgrace every impossibility in my life and crown me victorious in all my battles as I put my faith on the line. In the name of Jesus, rapa zapanda baba 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 rapa di bandolo basa panda baba rapa yanda baba baba. Rapaya panda baba ba, anda baba baba, sanda baba ba, arapaya anda baba baba, repele lepele lepele lepele, rapaya anda baba baba. Lift up your voice and cry out unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Lord didn't gather us at this mountain for nothing. There is something He wants to do. Lift up your voice and cry out, Father. In this change of story season, disgrace every impossibility in my life and crown me victorious in all my battles as I put uh, my faith on the line. Kato Rabba Sata Ibantani Mokapaya Repayanda Baba Baba Arapanda Baba Baba Arapayanda Baba Rapayanda Brasanda Baha They look unto him and their faces were not ashamed. Lift up your voice. Masata Kapanda Baba 
Abranda baba ba, anda baba ba, sanda baba, ropondo bolo bo sende, atoni mo kapai anda baba, anda baba baba bi, rapanda baba baba, anda baba baba bi. Father, in this change of story season, disgrace every impossibility in my life and crown me victorious in all my battles as I put my faith on the line. Masato rapanda baba, iparos. Pendelebe, a rapanda baba baba, and a baba sanda baba, a rapanda baba baba, a pantana baba As I put my faith on the line, this grace, every impossibility in my life, and grant me victorious in all my battles in the name of Jesus. Rapanda baba sanda baba, a rapayana baba baba, and a baba baba baba, rapayana baba baba. Anda bra ba 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 bu, rapa da ba san da ba ba, anda bra ba 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 bu, arapa da ba ba ba, arapa da ba da da ba, arepe le 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 le, arapa da ba da ba bu, anda bra ba 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 bu, anda bra ba 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 ba, rapa ya da ba 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 ba, arapa da ba ba ba. Lift up your voice, begin to appreciate the Lord, give Him thanks and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed. Thanksgiving. You may please take your seat. Supernatural good people of God, help me appreciate Jesus, the owner and the builder of a church. Thank you so much for the We are praying for miracles, signs, and wonders. And the word of God comes tonight. Thank you. I see you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, I see miracles, signs and wonders in the atmosphere. God is moving in this place. He's moving in this place. And I see miracles, signs and wonders in the atmosphere. God is moving in this place. He's moving in this place. I see, I see miracles, signs and wonders in the atmosphere. God is, God is moving in this place. Moving in this place tonight. He's moving in this place. I see, I see miracles, signs and wonders.
to submit our request to the Lord. Scripture tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18, it says, This child I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. With this in mind, I want to encourage all of us to kindly take a prayer position of our choice, and begin to present our requests in faith to the Lord. Indeed, we serve a mighty God, and there is nothing that our God cannot do. The beginning of the year, the prophecies we got were overflow in our finances, overflow in peace, overflow in physical strength, overflow in wisdom, releasing ideas for success, overflow in miracles, signs and wonders, overflow in the power, anointing of the Holy Spirit, overflow in church growth as well. Keep praying, God will answer you. Indeed, He's a faithful God. When you call on Him, He will answer you. Before the end of this month, the word is change of story. Keep praying on that particular prayer topic. God will answer you. He has never failed us and he will never ever fail us.
pray believing and not doubting pray in faith keep pressing keep pushing don't give up he says ask knock and he will open keep praying He's a God that makes a way where there is no way. Pray, God will hear you. If you believe he's answered your prayers, begin to wave your prayer card in faith. Father, we thank you. We believe we receive. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. supernatural growth shall we give a mighty clap offering unto Jesus the owner and builder of the church and let's appreciate the servant of the Lord our father and our mother do it better somebody hallelujah now uh, there is a noticeable achievement of the olden church and what is this? We were told that one time about 3,000 people were baptized, and another time 5,000 were added to them. And the good news is they were able to sustain this number over years. They increase and they sustain this number in the churches. Now the question is, how were the apostles able to do this? And in our contemporary world, in today's world, we equally have remarkable trends that we can glean or learn from. For example, we could talk of the Living Faith Church worldwide, Witness Chapel in Nigeria. Now, they host over 50,000 members in their meetings with over 6 million members worldwide in 147 countries. Now, how are they able to sustain and maintain this huge membership? Now, we could talk of RCC, also of Nigeria. They could host 9 million people worldwide in 197 countries and territories. How were they able to maintain these staggering numbers? And the grandfather, we could talk of the South Church, the Yodo Church, by Pastor David Yonguchu, now by Young Lee. At the sitting, they could host over 480,000 members, and they were able to sustain them till date. How were they able to do that? Now, the answer is in the scriptures. Acts chapter 5, the verse 42. Acts 5, 42. Now, the Bible says that they were meeting in the temple the verse 42 now and daily in the temple and in the temple, preach Jesus Christ. so what does this mean now in as much as the church in the olden days and even the modern day meet in the church in, in the church they also meet at home the virtue able to maintain, to sustain the numbers that come in. And this process is what we describe as the home cell ministry. Put your hands together for this great idea. So for this reason, our father, by the inspiration of God, come out with the mandate, preaching lead and care and care for someone. Lead for someone. Now, this is the means by which we can sustain the numbers, by which we can bring the numbers to the glory of God. Now, how do we do it? Now, as our Father has establish a cell in our home or in our so, worship. You could be five, you could be six, you could be twelve. 
to establish the same. Now, what do we do next? We must continue to share the word of God, share fellowship with them, not only in word, but also in practice. We put them together, and the bond, the love that Christ has shown in us will be sent abroad, and many will be added to us. Hallelujah, somebody. Again, our Father has taught that we have to pray for them. Pray that all their heart desires will be met. And when their needs are met, they will always come to meet the meter of those needs. And that is the church. Hallelujah, somebody. And by virtue of all this, we can sustain the numbers that God has brought our way. And God will bless us, meet our needs as we engage in this mandate. Today, is the ten of you and I to sustain the numbers, to bring in more through the cell ministry. Tell somebody, lead a cell and care for someone. Please say it again. Lead a cell and care for someone. And this is the way the Lord will bless us in his house and in our homes. Put your hands together for the Lord. It's a year of supernatural growth, no limitation. Please, let's with gratitude put our hands together and celebrate the Lord Jesus, the owner and the builder of the church. Let's also put our hands together and appreciate the life of our father and our mother, and you are all welcome to tonight's service. So this evening, I'm reviewing one of our books for the month, Keys to Success. And this month of Change of Story, one of our books is Keys to Success, and I'm looking at chapter 6, where daddy talks about the key of focus. The key of focus. Now daddy introduces the chapter with the scripture, Matthew 6, 22. He says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So then what is focus? Daddy gives four definitions, but I'll just pick one. When you get the book, you'll see the rest. So daddy says, Focus is the giving yourself totally to one thing till it is fully realized. Now, Daddy says here that when the devil wants to distort your glory, he distracts you. So, broken focus is the reason for many broken lives. When the devil wants to distract you, he takes your focus from something. Now, do you know that sometimes when you are driving, as you concentrate and you are driving, you hear people blowing more, beep, 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 beep. And sometimes, if you are not careful, you pay attention to the horn until you, you bump one car. How, how many have witnessed that before? That somebody can blow a horn and confuse you. Please, in this journey of our lives, many horns are blowing, seeking our attention. But if you don't remain focused, by the time you realize, you would have crashed. But that will not be your story in Jesus' name. So daddy says here that, what do I do to remain focused? What do I do to remain focused? Number one, he says, look at the future where you are going. Let the ultimate be what you are focusing on. Or else you may give up. You will start the journey. Along the way, you will give up. So, for example, this year, Daddy declared that it's our year of supernatural growth. We are not saying other churches also don't have their themes. But don't jump here. Supernatural growth, supernatural enlightenment, supernatural is only you. Many, many things. Which one are you focusing on? And what results are we going to get? Praise the Lord. So we need to focus on that one thing. Number two. Then he says, be careful of what you hear. We are talking about what to do to remain focused. Be careful of what you hear. This whole 30 days, we are not done yet, but God's word keeps coming forth. God is still preaching. When you come, Bishop is preaching to us, giving God's word, giving us hope, giving us encouragement. As soon as you go on and go home and put on your Al Jazeera or CNN, it tells you something else. Then you start, ah, Iradi, we ask you, we ask you, meanwhile, the word of God has come to you. Which one are you believing? Be careful of what you hear. We are not saying don't watch the news. Watch the news, but focus on the word. Tell your neighbor, focus on the word. Listen to news, but focus on the word. Then finally, I love this point so much because of the explanation that he gives. He says, keep the right people around you. 
Keep, if you want to be focused in life, keep the right people around you. Wrong people will destroy your focus. When wrong people live your life, wrong things will live your life. Now, I like this last part. That it says, know that it is not everyone at the airport who is traveling. There are some who are just checking you in. Come and check your bag, whatever. If you meet your friend at the airport who is just checking you in to go, and you say, 20 years now, I haven't seen you. So you are chatting, and you are chatting. By the time you realize your flight will leave you behind. But your flight will not leave you behind in Jesus' name. Therefore, be careful. The same way in church. Don't be deceived. Not everybody in church is on board to heaven. Please, don't be deceived because you are in church. Remain focused. This fasting, don't call a friend who is saying, are you fasting? I say, come on, dream me. I say, me, me, did you? I say, ah, and yet, and you miss me, break it two o'clock. Don't keep the wrong company because God is ready to change your story. So daddy says, you will not be a victim of divided attention in Jesus' name. Say a big amen. He prays for us again. He says, you will not be a victim of broken focus. Amen. And daddy says, you will succeed. Please get this book and of a surety, you will succeed in Jesus' name. God bless you. Supernatural growth. Supernatural growth. Please help me thank Jesus, the owner and builder of our church. Help me thank my father and my mother for this opportunity. Kindly make here for the following Faith Cathedral announcements for Tuesday, September 19th. The program continues tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Let's note that the fasting is from 6 a.m. until we break with communion in the evening service. Expect your turnaround testimony to be delivered this week as we continue to seek the face of God. Two, we are being reminded of our soul winning campaign for the month of September, which is Operation Bring in Your Relatives and Close Friends, based on Acts chapter 10, verse 24. Every member is expected to win and bring relatives and close friends within this campaign period. In addition to this, we meet here every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. for soul winning and tele-evangelism. Furthermore, every member is required to be a part of a home sale in accordance with our mandate 500 sales agenda for the year 2023. In line with this mandate, our father has launched a new campaign dubbed Operation Lead a Sale and Care for Someone. This is to give opportunity to members to start new sales in their homes for the establishment of souls. Please stop by our home sale department at the Epaphrestant after service to receive further information about this new campaign. All home sales have their meetings every Saturday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. The management and staff of the Bible Society of Ghana will be joining us next Sunday, September 24th, for their annual Thanksgiving service. Five, join us for the September edition of SBS as we receive Mrs. Sewa Duku, CEO of Chop Shop Ghana, on, on Sunday, 24th September at 5.30 p.m. The Holy Hill Marriage School, under the auspices of our father, is inviting married couples, as well as those preparing for marriage, for an enlightening encounter with seasoned marriage counselors from Pentecost International Worship Center. The date is Sunday, 1st October, 2023. Time is 1.30 p.m., and the venue is Dominion Chapel. Finally, Higher Life Breakfast Meeting. Higher Life Breakfast Meeting is scheduled to take place in this auditorium on Saturday, 30th September at 8 a.m. The theme for this year's meeting is God of Wonders, according to Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Let's do well to invite our family and friends to this meeting for a spectacular encounter with the wonder-working God. Thank you.
Church, let's put our hands together and celebrate the Lord Jesus, the owner and the builder of the church. And help me, let's honor God's servant, our Father. Put your hands together, please. Let's celebrate the grace of God upon his life. And we also thank God for the life of our mother. It is testimony time. Our father said, when you hear what God has done for your brother, you must understand that he is in your neighborhood. And very soon, you are going to receive your miracle. So these testimonies I'm about to read is only to show you that God is about to visit you. And if you are happy about that, give him another clap of praise. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. Our first documented testimony is coming from Sister Jennifer. And it's about supernatural academic excellence. She says, while preparing for my first pharmacy license exam in December 2022, I constantly had terrible dreams, but I did not pay much attention to them. I was confident that I would pass the exam because I considered myself as an excellent student. She trusted in herself. However, to my surprise and everyone else's, I failed. Mercy. But fortunately, in the same month, I joined Holy Hill Chapel, and through Daddy's teachings, I learned about seed sowing, making positive confessions, and applying kingdom mysteries daily. And people of God, as she engaged all the things that were taught in the house, she says, when I attempted the exam again in August 2023, I passed successfully. I am grateful to God for coming through for me. Glory be to Jesus. Church, let us join our sister in thanking the Lord for this miracle. She trusted in herself. But when she came to church and heard the word of God and applied the keys, she saw a change of story. That will be your testimony very soon in Jesus' name. Now, our next documented testimony from Sister Christiana, International Open Doors and Deliverance from Death. She says, in the year 2021, during my national service, I occasionally visited Holy Hill Chapel. And I prayed to God for job because I was determined not to be employed. In June 2022, to my amazement, God showed me mercy by providing me with a job even before I completed my national service. Let's clap our hands for the Lord for this. It means God answers prayer. She did not wait to finish national service. She prayed and the Lord heard her and gave her a job even before she finished her national service. Now she goes on to say that, however, this victory was accompanied by a struggle in my relationship. But instead of dwelling on my troubles, I prioritized building my spiritual life. It means she was applying Matthew 63. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. And so in October 2022, during Daddy's teachings about provoking favor and grace, he said, I made a commitment to pray for an abundance of grace and favor in my life. I also began attending church more consistently. I joined a department. I rededicated my life to Christ, completed foundation school, and I also prayed to God for favor in my master's application after being rejected once. So if you listen to what our sister is saying, she did all that Papa has been teaching here. She was engaged in kingdom advancement endeavors. Now let's listen to what happened. While waiting for my admission, I applied for my dream job as a flight attendant. I was rejected on my first attempt, but I did not give up. In March 2023, I reapplied with full confidence in God's grace and favor. In 
full confidence in God's grace and favor, not in herself. She said, I was invited for a three-day interview, and I prayed for God's guidance before every session. Now, people of God, out of approximately 200 candidates, I made it to the final 100, and eventually, I was selected for the position. Please, won't you celebrate God for this? After she has sought first the kingdom of God, God now began to surprise her. 200 people were applying for one position, and she came through on top. That will be somebody's story in Jesus' name. Again, to the glory of God, I received an admission email on 13th March 2023 from Kent State University to pursue a master's degree in communications. That was not all. I received another admission email, this time from Western Illinois University, also for a master's degree in communications. She says, on the eve of the deadline for submission of documents for my master's program, I had an accident on the motorway whilst returning home from getting a COVID vaccine. So you see, the devil has seen what God was about to do. And so he was trying to bring an impediment. But the God of our father was standing right behind her, fighting for her. He says, my car was heavily damaged, but to the glory of God, I came out without a scratch and successfully submitted my documents. It means the devil cannot do anything about your change of story testimony. He says, on 22nd July 2023, I had a dream in which I received some documents. But just when I opened the file, the documents started disappearing. The devil showed up again. But I came to see daddy. And he prayed for me. Now, to the glory of God, I received my ticket, my visa, and other necessary documents on 25th of August, 2023. That's just about two or three weeks ago. Will you celebrate Jesus for this breakthrough? And it also shows you the importance of a prophet in your life. There are things you cannot do except you have a prophetic intervention. And tonight, there's a prophet in the house. You shall receive your testimony. She says, people of God, as I testify, I have relocated to Qatar and began training as a Qatar Airways cabin crew member. I am overwhelmed with joy and gratitude for God's abundance, grace, and favor in my life. These testimonies are a testament to his mercy and I know that it's only through his grace that I have received these blessings. Glory be to God. Church, let's celebrate God for this testimony that has happened in our sister's life. Whilst we put our hands together and welcome Minister Shadrach. Minister Shadrach. He's sharing a testimony about supernatural academic breakthrough and favor. Supernatural growth. No limitation. Help me thank Jesus, the owner and builder of this church. And help me appreciate our mother and our father for giving me this great opportunity. I don't take it lightly, Papa. Okay, so um, I'm from a family um, where um, my dad has 12 children. Not with only my mother, but other women. So we are 12 in all. All right, so I'm the 11th, and then I have a younger sister. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so... From um, the first to tenth, nobody has ever entered the SHS or gone to the university either. Yes, so um, I was the first to go to SHS and then also attend the university. Now, when I came, I joined the church, and in 2019, um, Supernatural Festival was happening, and then Bishop declared that there are people going to get scholarships to attend the universities. And they are not going to pay anything. And I'm a testimony of that. I'm one of them. Hallelujah. So after the Supernatural Festival, I decided to apply to the university, but I didn't know which university to attend. And the reason why I didn't know was because there was no money. There was no financial support from anywhere. So 
I was just scared if I choose this or that, who is going to support? So I just decided to just be there, but I was believing God for a miracle based on what Papa said. So um, one of the pastor that I know sent me a message that he bought a form for someone to attend a private school, but the person is not ready to go. So do I want it? I said, oh, I want it. Like, <laughs> I really need it. So as soon as he gave it to me, um, it was actually a, a PDF format, so I had to go and print it. Now, the money to even go and print wasn't there. So I, I, I told my mom, and she had to find some money for me, but I also had to borrow from someone to add up to go and print the form. Now, after I printed the form and I finished filling the form, not knowing that the following day is the last day for submission of the form. So I have to do anything possible to get the form to the school before that day goes away, the deadline passes. So I went to the school the following day, and when I got there, one of the administrators saw me and was like, Ah, you came here last week, and I asked you to come the following day. Why didn't you come? And I was like, I've not been in this school before. This is my first time. I don't even know anybody here. It was like, are you sure? I told you to come back, so why are you now coming? And I said, I just don't know. So then I remember that during Supernatural Festival, Papa said, um, God will send angels before you to go ahead of you. Hallelujah. So when I remembered that, I just kept quiet, and I was standing there. It was like, hurry up, follow me, and let's go. So we went to the office, he went through the forms, checked my grades and everything, he was like, okay, fine. The school is offering 50% scholarship. Are you interested? And I said, yes, I'm interested. So he was like, okay, I'm going to let you write exams. You are going to write four papers. I was scared because I wasn't prepared for any, any paper because when I completed SHS, I went to teach. I wasn't really studying, I was teaching. So I wasn't ready. So he said, no, you have to write today. Because if you don't write today, that's the deadline. I said, okay, then I'll write it. So when he went to bring the papers, I was praying. And when he brought the papers, um, there were four different papers. In, uh, maths, English, um, aptitude test, and then computer skills. Because I was applying for computer science and engineering. So he brought them. Now when he brought them, this was what amazed me. When he brought them. The answer booklet had another answer booklet in addition, which contains all the answers to the question that he brought. So when, when he brought hey. it... Hey! So when he brought it... Let's listen. So when he brought it, and then I, I thought maybe he was testing me because I don't know. I don't know him, and... So I told him that, say, please, um, can you kindly check, refer to the book, like, the answers are there to the question, please. He said he can't see anything. So <laughs> when he said that, I was, I was still not certain with myself, so I had to call, he had to call another lecturer for the lecturer to come and verify if what I'm saying is true. When the lecturer came, the same thing, he also said he can't see anything. <laughs> From there, I just, I just shut up and started writing. <laughs> so I was writing, and then when I was writing the math, um, it got to one question, and I felt like I knew the answer. But what was in the answer booklet was wrong, so I was doubting what was in the answer booklet. And I wrote what I knew. So uh, when I completed, I submitted the papers, and it was like, I should wait. They have to mark the papers and show me that I had this mark and I'll get the scholarship before I leave. If not that, then that would be it. So I was waiting and I was praying. So when they came back with the papers, I had 100% in everything I can. Except, except for the one that I doubted the question, the maths. And even that one, I got 97, 97. Because I doubted what I was writing. So from there, they, they were all surprised and the uh, administrator told me, You've gotten the scholarship for the 50%, so you can start schooling. So, fast forward from there. When I started schooling, my mom was able to only help me in level 100. Um, we, we couldn't afford the school fees, even though it was even 50%. There was nothing at all, so I was trying my best. So now, I wrote in my prayer card that I wanted God to pay my school fees for me. And secondly, I wanted a place to stay. I wanted a hostel to stay in the uh, school because I can't be going and coming because there's no money. So surprisingly, the chaplain of the school, also, I was attending a fellowship there, and I was a leader there, so he said his office is no more staying there, so he's going to give that place to me to be sleeping there till I complete the school. 
So I stayed in the hostel and I didn't pay anything. So in level 200, I also paid only first semester. Second semester, I couldn't pay. Level 300, first and second semester, I couldn't pay. But in level 300, first semester, I went to class. And when I was going, and then the dean for my faculty met me and he was like, I've heard of you. Is, no, is your name not Shadak? I said, yes, please, that's my name. He said, okay, are you owing school fees? And I said, yes. He said, okay, write your full name and your index number for me. So I wrote my full name, my index number, and my course and my level, and I gave it to him. So I went to class the following day, and I was in the class, and someone came to call me that. My dean is calling me. So I went to his office, and he gave me the receipt for the school fees he had paid for level 100, second semester, level 200, second semester, level 300, first semester, and second semester. So after he did that, he also said that he will pay till I complete the school. So I shouldn't worry about it. I, my eyes were filled with tears. I, I cried and I, it was something else for me. So I went and I told my mom about it. And my mom came to the school the following day to say thank you to him. So after that, I, everything, he paid actually everything he said. Now surprisingly, I was letting a friend perch with me in the hostel. And in level 400 second semester, my friend couldn't also pay. And we were going to write our final exams. They were worrying him. He also said, ah, is that not your friend? And I said, yes, that's my friend. He said, okay, how much is he owing? And he paid for my friend too. Wow. That was owing wow. the fees. Wow. So I, I thank God so much. And from there, all my papers have written. My, my least grade has been a B. Mm. From level 100 to 400, my least grade has been a B. And right now, I've completed the university. And then um, in the first class, I'm, I'm with um, 4.9 CGPA. That's my CGPA. Hallelujah. 4.9. Yes. And after my, that, my national service, I'm supposed to do national service. But the company I went to work, um, the, my boss said, uh, he asked me whether I want to do national service. And I said, if you want to employ me, fine. And he said, OK, then you not do national service. Then I'm employing you to work here. Hallelujah. So I thank God so much for this opportunity also. A testimony like this should let you know there is nothing God cannot do for you. The 11 child out of 12 children in his father's house, none of them had been to school, not even to SHS. But it all started with a word from a prophet. And he took a step of faith. And today God has changed his story. Tonight the same God will visit you with a miracle. Give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah.
praise him, come on, come on. Clap those hands. Give him praise. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom. How many of you heard that guy's testimony? Too powerful. Wow. That was a real change of story. Too powerful. Yes. When I saw it, I told Faith that I'm taking this guy to Cochrane University because he qualifies for the scholarship thing that a man gave me. So see me after the church. There we go. Because the grace is, is too much. When they join everything together, I think it's almost 5.5 or something. It's abnormal. But that's what God can do. He sent an angel before him and told the man, this is the guy that came here last week. And then, can you imagine going to write exam? They give you the, and the, all the answers are inside. And you tell the people, that, please, there is a port inside. the man and says I can't see. You call another person I can't see. He's the only one who can see. And they go hand straight. Anywhere the devil have decided to say destiny. The God of change your story will use a miracle to change your story. Tell your friend you are next in line for a miracle. Uh, we, we've been here for how many days now? Today is day number one. Nineteen. to benefit people. But when the people
Avesim. Shout at all. Don't stop clapping and shouting. Don't stop clapping and shouting. I refuse to live here the same way I entered here. Say the name of Jesus. I will not live here the same way I entered here. In the name of Jesus. What a blessing to be here. What a blessing. The way you are clapping, I don't like it. What a blessing. Your bishop, your papa, your prophet is well celebrated. A man we all respect on degrees and standard in a unique way. And above all, he's not only a pastor, he's a Christian. You know, not all pastors are Christian. But as for our bishop here, he's a prophet and a Christian. You know, I wonder if he eats, because he's always in the spirit. I love to talk we speak. My I'm so winning. <laughs> it's a blessing. Clap and on Father and our mama. Come on, do it. Do it better. Better. Amen. Do it better. But I see friend more than 20 years. Sabo, yeah, Sabo. Oh, my brother, upon some dark. <laughs> the man of God here, let's cry up. Lord, 
Lift your hands above your head and speak in the Holy Ghost for one minute. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. I can't hear you speaking the Holy Ghost for one minute. Oh my God. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak in the Holy Ghost. We give you the glory, Lord. Let your name be glorified. In the name above every other name. Turn around and tell somebody that God will surprise you tonight. Look at the face of your neighbor and tell him, God will surely surprise you tonight. Now, tonight, if the one sitting beside you is more active than you, clapping than you, shouting than you, they will take all your blessing and add to their blessing. So if it's more active than you, and shouted than you, you should know that he is taking your blessing and adding to his blessing. The one that can shout receive double for your trouble. Receive double for your trouble. Give the Lord a mighty clap. Also, shout, I am in charge. The Lord wearing the white day. You. You. Yeah. The one next to you. Yeah, rise up. I in this church. Live for two ones. The Lord is pouring oil on your head. Huh? You are about to make a record in your family. I wish you can clap it. Stand. I mourn the pulpit and I tell my life, I saw all your people on your head. There is a curse in your body and the curse is being broken now. The curse is from Volta region. It's broken now. We have in the next four months level who is called Elin? Eh? who is called Elinam? you are Elinam. come and stand here the lord is pouring fresh oil on this girl in four months if you shall receive your miracle Six breakthroughs. What they meant is your testimony. Call you again and keep on clapping. I'm speaking briefly on topic. It must become worse. It must become. I was preaching somewhere years ago in Lagos 
And the first statement in the front is, and I said to them that you are not born to win, but you are born to finish. Tonight, I'm spirit up. It must become worse. You know, anytime God wants to do something, He begins by saying something. It is the saying of God that releases the doings of God. So when God says something and you catch what he's saying, you can enter and see what he's doing. But if you don't catch what God is saying, you will miss what God is doing. I realized something that God does not always appear in our best. God always appears in the worst part of our lives. Check the Bible. Most of the time, wherever you see appearance of a prophet, there is a worse situation to be, to be met. And tonight I came here because there is somebody in a particular mess that God is about to take that mess into a message. Receive testimony. Today, many people are walking in the house of God with assumption. Hear me. God does not confirm assumption. He confirms declarations. So when I'm speaking, don't assume. When I'm speaking, the declaration it is declaration that we here today, they are through a lot of time. You see yourself, why this, why that? But I can't somebody, it must be worse. Malasika <laughs> Dayaba. You need a test. It must be worse. One day a man came to Jesus Christ. John chapter 9. Verse 6 coming down. Somebody who cannot see. A blind man who cannot see. For Jesus to lay hands on him. And tell him your eyes open. He spat and missed saliva. And put the saliva. The saliva the sun, and put it on the eye of the blind man a man that cannot see you are putting sand in the eyes are you not worsening the case are you here today but for it to become best you must enter the worst oh you are not here today I can't tell for 50 people who can shout and scream you are entering your best like a king, like a queen. We are going somewhere. I will not read in the scripture because of time. I'll be quoting them. Because this house is a word base. So I will just be quoting them. He put the sun in the eyes of a man that cannot see. If I put sun in your eyes, won't you be wiping? It must be yes. Yet, in the midst of being worse, it will become the best. Are you here tonight? Are you sure you are here? One day, the Bible declares that there was a man sitting at the gate called Beautiful. And this is a problem. Anytime you read about the man at the gate called Beautiful, I am always surprised because the gate was beautiful. Beautiful, but his situation was ugly. There are some of you here, you are a beautiful lady with a beautiful heart, but you are going to ugly situation. Uh, am I in the right place today? There are some of us here, we are handsome men with a pure heart, but we are going to ugly situation. I came to tell somebody soon and very soon. Out of the ridiculous, there will be a miraculous. Am I at the right place today? All 
all your enemies who are laughing at you because you are going down if you can rise up and shout there will be a testimony come and leave your chair and go and tell somebody hear my testimony Oh, go and tell somebody, leave your chair, leave your chair. Go and tell somebody, you will hear my testimony. Sit down like a king, like a queen. Beautiful, beautiful man. And they get beautiful. But his problem was ugly. There are some of you where you are coming from is a beautiful family. But the story of the family is very ugly. Your father is handsome, but ugly family situation. Your mother is beautiful, but the problem is ugly. Hear me today. The men of the city of Jericho, they ran to Elisha. He said, Elisha, our place is beautiful, but the water is bad. We are going through a worse situation. And some people are here. They are wearing suits, but they are going to bad situation. Some are sitting down here. They are dressed with a powerful dress. They bought 10 years ago, but they are going through a worse situation. But I came to tell somebody it must be worse before it will become the best. Oh, you are not here today. Am I at the right place today? Oh, my enemies, rejoice not over me. Because when I fall, whoever can clap and shout, receive your testimony. Receive your testimony. I shall receive your testimony. Sit down like a king, like a queen. Ilandabo Shadim Paluata. Ibim Malatan Dalapanto. Most of us, we hate the words. Like years ago, before you will get an original picture, when the, when the photographer takes the picture, the negative will come first. And when you lift up the negative and your friend back who say and nobody frames the frame nobody frames the negative and place at the hall it doesn't look nice but take the negative through a process that negative will become beautiful thing hear me what you are going through now may look some way look at the man called Mephibosheth now if you meet him in Lodiba you may think he's a useless boy but Mephibosheth is not a useless boy his father was a prince his grandfather was a king are you here today the boy was not born to be a lame he was a solid boy walking but the Bible says at the age of five years came about the death of the father the nurse who was carrying him some of you in life dropped you drop you there are some beautiful girls who fell into a rain and some men drop you are you here today some handsome men who enter wrong relationship and the woman you and came to tell somebody I've dropped you. Holy Am I at the right place? Whoever dropped you, as you are jumping and screaming, they are coming to look for you. Sit down, we are going somewhere. Sit down. She wasn't born to lame or being a dropping because he was in the wrong hands when you enter the wrong hands you'll be dropped and when he was dropped they carried him to Lodiba it became worse but out of the worst 
David appeared. Is there still anybody left in the house of Saul? I may show kindness. Anyone that can jump, kindness is coming. I prophesy over 50 people. The kindness of God is coming to you. Lift your hands and shout yes. Sit down like a king, like a queen. Lift your hand and shout, it must be worse. Come on, say it again. Say it with power. The power declares that one day Jesus Christ was preaching and they came and said, Master, the one that you love is sick. Who? Lazarus. Jesus did not go. He waited. On the fourth day, when the man has been buried, he arrived. When he got there, Martha said, Master, if you have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus looked at the face of Martha. Because Martha said, even now I know that whatever you ask your father, he will do it. And Jesus Christ said, thy brother shall rise again. When he said that, he said, ah, no, my brother rise. I know he will rise, but not now. He said, don't talk about that because I am the resurrection and I am the life. While they were talking, the sister Mary also came. He said, Master, if you have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. He said, I told you that your brother shall rise again. He said, where have you laid your brother? On their way, when they got there, he said, take away the stone. And Mary said, Master, please, now it's worse. I am a shaka, but now it's worse. Now the man is not dead for two days, he's dead for four days. It's worse. He told them, I told you, if thou shalt believe. If thou shalt believe, you will see the glory of the Lord. Am I the right person now? What is dead before men? Before God is sleeping, uh, when men say it's impossible, God says it's possible. When men say there is nothing, down, we shall say, I don't like your attitude at all. Anyone clapping, jumping, and screaming, they will hear your testimony. Lift your hand and shout, Yes! Sit down like a king, we are going somewhere. He said, I told you that thy brother shall rise again. If thou shalt believe, thou shalt see the glory of the Lord. And he said, take away the stone. The situation looks so worse. If it's two days, normal, three days, normal. But four days, he stood at the tomb of Lazarus. And he said, Lazarus, why did he mention the name of Lazarus? Because if Jesus had done a mistake, and Jesus had said, come forth, many dead people will come out. But that day, he didn't come for Samuel. He didn't come for Michael. He Today I came for you. Whoever will jump and scream, you are. Anyone clapping? I declare, God is turning. I said, God is turning your mess into a message. God is turning your story into glory. God is turning your past situation. Into a testimony, anyone clapping, receive the power, receive the grace of God. Turn around and tell somebody they will hear your testimony. Sit down like a king, like a queen. Maluka Baya, tell somebody it must be worse. Oh, I don't like tell somebody it must be worse. For the worst, Jesus Christ will show up. Mark 5, the woman, the issue of blood. She had other 
a billion dollars in his in the account because of the flow of the blood. But she spent all that she had, which means the sickness emptied her accounts. <laughs> you are not here today, which means she was rich. But the sickness made her to be poor. There are some of you, you have money, but situation can swallow your money. Are you here today? There are some of you, your heart, your asthma, your kidney has swallowed your finances. Are you here today? She spent all her money. On Monday, she'll write a check. The money is going. She spent all that she had on physicians, which means she did not go to one person. So the someone came through for counseling. When he came, he said, Prophet, are you sure I'm not paying anything? Sir, why? He said, Why I left? I paid thousand before I can talk to the prophet. And after yes, after the thousand, the other ones here be brave. I must buy this, I must buy that, I must buy this. Which means she is spending her money. Because of her problem, the woman with the issue of blood, she spent all that she had for the blood to stop. It became worse. It was when it became worse, she sat down and spoke to herself. The greatest prophet in life is you. Speak to yourself. Are you not here today? She spoke to herself. He said, the doctor has spoken. My pastor has spoken. But I will speak to myself. In Alima Lock yourself in a room and speak to yourself. She said to herself that today I will arise and go to Jesus. I came to tell somebody in Holy Hill who believe I came for you. You are clapping and shouting. There is a turn around. There is a turn around. Lift your hand and shout, Yes! Lift up all and shout, It must be worse. Say it again. Say it again. Sit down for a few minutes. I'm, 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 I'm ending. Her flow of blood. Hear me. The bigger your problem, the bigger your testimony. Are you here today? The bigger your problem, the bigger your testimony. The Bible declares that one day Jesus Christ was entering the city called Nain, Luke chapter 7. And he was entering Nain and a widow, a widow, his all, her only child. You know, when you are a widow and your husband is no more, you have only child. The child is your everything. Are you here today? Anytime you miss your husband and you look at your child, it gives you joy. And the child also died. Can I give you a prophecy? Can I give you a prophecy? Whatever gives you joy will not die. Anyone clapping and shouting, receive your testimony. Whatever gives you joy, it will not die. Lift your hand and shout, yes! Only child died. They carried the child. On their way to the barrier. Oh. When they were leaving the city. Jesus was entering the city. When a worse situation collides. With a prophetic grace, there is a supernatural turn around. The way you are clapping, I feel like going to sleep right now. There are some of you here, it looks very bad, but there shall be a turn around. 
there are some of you here it looks very bad but there shall be a turnaround it must be worse sometimes even the poor will call you poor sometimes they will undermine you and underrate you they will look at you some way as if you are not part of the race sister keep on fighting it must be worse it must be worse because out of the worst the best will come and Jesus came and touched the up the open coffin hear me today and he said let this little boy in the coffin rise again hear me today the Bible declares and the boy sat up and began to speak I came to tell somebody they can kill it they can carry it they cannot bury it oh you are not here rise and tell somebody they can kill it they can carry it can bury the thing. Oh, leave your chair. Go and tell. They can kill it and carry, it, but they cannot bury it. As you are shouting, it will be your money. It will be your death. There shall be a change. They can kill it. Right nice don't not family stop I don't like the way ever to them. I profess and you would share Dalalaba Shatalaba Baba Ian Tolly Abba. I say rise after the service. Pick your f and call your mother, call your father. I somewhere I will in the fuck. Come on, shout, I will change the story. Say it again. Come on, say it again. Come on, say it with power.
in the law of Moses that anybody that is caught in a drought, you must be stoned. He said, oh, wow, it is written that I will not speak. I will also write. He also went down, started writing. He wrote to cancel what has been written. Tonight, whatever has been written against your life, to shout and clap, I will write again. I say, I will write again. They say you cannot marry. I am writing. Be the letters in terms. Oh, I don't like the way you are behaving. They say you cannot travel. But I also write, you will travel by fire. They say you can't carry a child. But I declare, you will carry twins. Leave the void, leave the void and show yeah. Back is hard. Fifteen messages. You are anybody who can jump and scream. You are receiving good morning. You are receiving the worst. Out of the worst, the best work. Live God and show you. Baluita. Zimiambalabata. The quest can do the only worst thing they can do against you is bad news about you. That is the only worst they can give you. But because the Bible says, who is he that say it? And it comes to pass. If the Lord has not commanded, there are two things there. Who is he that say it? If the Lord has not commanded. So the devil says, God commands. But I don't like the way you are behaving. Should I go and sleep? Who is he that say it? The devil says, but God commands. He is a Don't like the way you are behaving. Kneel on this altar. I declare, if I have said you will not carry a child a year by now, carry your twins. I don't like your attitude. Whoever I have said you will die before your time, as you are shouting, receive your testimony. The first time the US where the the world trade center how were they able to identify the people under the building and were them they said, man the only thing That will identify that somebody is here. Today, everyone will know you are here. Sometimes, sometimes, 
so much. Come and pick my wife. When we are we we have echo, we have noise. We don't make our echo. We we don't miss Hear me. Shouting is a and I will shout them more. Your miracle is in your shouting. Are you in a house? Are you sure? Voice and tell your name. You will hear my death. She's on your stomach. Is the sound of the baby. That shows the baby is alive. Hear me today. If a flight is about to take off and you are sitting in the flight, you don't hear a noise. But they hear a noise. We that we are in the holy hill, we don't hear a noise. Go right in the house and show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa Bishop Dakiwa Mills. It is surprising. Some Can you jump? There are some of you. There are some of you. But this prophecy. Get home. Tomorrow, nine o'clock, a miracle will be for you. Give the Lord a clap. Well, the ushers, follow me. Adili Atala. Grace is in the house. Lift up all that shall power. Lift up all that shall power. Lift up all that shall grace. Lift up all that shall power. Lift up all that shall grace. Lift up all that shall power. Lift a voice and shout grace. Lift a voice and shout power. To us. I'm ending. I'm ending. Sit down. I'm ending. It's my last thing. About the God, one day, may had that besiege Samaria. To the extent that the droppings of a dove was sold for a shekel. Droppings who toilet, a boy toilet. They have queue not to buy watch it, but they have queue to buy the toilet of anima or make queue. Ting ting. They were fighting over dropping a dove. 
The Bible declares the famine was so severe, so serious that people started chewing their own children. It became worse. When the thing became worse, Elisha appeared. He said, Thou say yes, the Lord. Today, in the midst of your words, I have appeared. As you are shouting, there shall be a turnaround. Anyone that can show it. Next year, 19 September. As you run and put your story is turning around. It all try on. Try on. I shall sing to sing alone. Oh, uh -huh. 